Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dr. Archer's Lectures. In this very first episode, we're going to look at some of the very basic concepts of economics and get us started and get us ready for DQ1. So let's talk first about what is economics. Economics is the study of how we allocate our scarce resources. When we think about scarce, we think about things where there aren't enough to go around. And when I say that, that might make you think, well, that would be rare or, or uh, difficult to find. No, not necessarily. It turns out that most things are scarce. All things are scarce because there's never enough to meet all desired uses. And so when we think about how to use those scared, scarce resources, as an economy, how are we going to allocate those scarce resources? We're answering the questions, what are we going to produce? How are we going to produce it? And for whom are we going to produce these goods and services? So this leads us back for more discussion of that whole idea of scarcity. Scarcity doesn't really mean rare. Scarcity means there's not enough to satisfy all desired uses of those resources. Think about it. If I had this room that I'm in, which is, I don't know, 12 by 12 or something like that, if I had it filled to a foot deep with sand, you would have to conclude that the sand particles in this room are not rare. They are not rare but they could still be considered scarce if, in fact, somebody else came along and said, hey, we need you to fill this room and the next room a foot deep. Now I don't have enough sand particles for that, do I? So now those sand particles that seem so many have become scarce, and that leads into the whole idea of finite. There's a lot of sand particles, but they're not limitless. And so there are always more desires than there are resources. So somebody's wants will have to go unfulfilled. Scarcity requires that we make choices. In my little example with the sand particles, we can fill this room or the next room, but probably not both because we don't have enough sand particles. So we would have to think about which room is more important to us. And that's what scarcity does. It requires us to make economic choices. Those choices can be thought of in terms of opportunity cost. Opportunity cost of any item is whatever must be given up to obtain it. Opportunity cost is simply what you give up for the choice you've made. Think about it. The real cost of something can be measured in terms of what you had to give up to get it, right? When you think about coming to this class today, coming to this lecture, it doesn't cost anything. It's here free as a part of your, your classroom, but you still had to give up something to do this. You could have been doing something else, and that's your real cost, what you had to give up to get it. And that's true in all decision making. What did you have to give up? That's opportunity cost, and that's very relevant for a very relevant cost for decision making. When we think about this in terms of business, we put it into factors of production. The four categories of, of materials that are required to produce something. So we have land, and that includes all of your natural resources as well as the actual land. So if you have a piece of land here, it might include the water that the land sits on. Maybe it's the grazing rights, if that's empty land at this point. Maybe there are minerals under the soil. Maybe there's oil, maybe other valuable minerals. All of that is included in the land. Labor is kind of self-explanatory. That includes the people who do the work and all the abilities that they bring with them. So sometimes we talk about educating people, 
teaching them new skills, and we talk about it in terms of developing human capital, that's also part of labor. It's those abilities that your workers bring with them. Capital, in this case, capital goes far beyond money. Capital is goods produced for use in further production. So that includes things like your machinery, your building, your equipment of all kinds, capital goods. And last but not least, you have entrepreneurship. The assembling of all these resources in different and new and innovative ways to produce new and improved products and technologies. So those are the four factors of, tech, of production. And when we think about opportunity costs, we think about how those factors of production are going to be used with an eye toward when we decide to use them for A, they're no longer available for B. Opportunity costs looks at what we gave up for the choice we made. Opportunity costs is what we gave up. And this all funnels back to the idea of scarcity. Even though in the United States of America, we have lots of land and lots of qualified labor and plenty of machinery and equipment, and we have entrepreneurship, new ideas popping all over, there's never enough of any of those things to fulfill all desired uses. We always have to make choices about where to put those things. Next time, we're gonna be looking at the production possibilities curve in which we look graphically at the choices that we will make related to the factors of production. So I look forward to seeing you next time on Dr. Archer's Lectures.